Hello and welcome. Our guest for this edition of ASTA is Dan Trujillo, Public Information Officer for the Las Cruces Police and Fire Departments. Dan, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Okay, to begin with, is it illegal for someone to leave a pet or another person unattended in a vehicle during summer when it's hot? Well, not only is it illegal, but it's also not very wise to do so. Uh, we're in southern New Mexico. Uh, it gets very warm, even at night. Uh, when the temperature is cooled off to the high 80s or low 90s inside a, an enclosed vehicle with uh, no circulation of air or anything like that, it gets very hot. And so this could be uh, dangerous for either pets or people. Okay. And so what should a person do if they encounter such a situation? Yeah, here's the first thing to do is, is first of all, do not break a window right away uh, instinctively unless it's a dire emergency. Uh, the first thing you should do is call 911 and uh, be prepared to give the license number, uh, the identifiable information of the vehicle uh, that we're talking about, and uh, who or what is in the vehicle. Uh, make sure to give that to, to the 911 call taker right away. Um, and then if it's possible to have somebody else go in, and if it's a nearby store, to go in the store to get on the intercom to announce, hey, there's a, a pet or a person in a vehicle, please return to whatever vehicle that is. Um, and then in the very last resort, um, if there's no help coming and if it's a dire emergency, then for sure you can break a window to rescue a pet or a person. And can somebody get in trouble for doing that, for breaking the window? Well, here's the thing. Um, legally, probably not. And uh, especially if you've done the other steps first. Uh, call 911, done everything you can. But the reason we try to discourage that is because uh, we live in a society today where there's road rage and other sorts of rages. Mm -hmm. And so we wouldn't want somebody breaking a window and then the owner coming out, seeing that broken window, and then taking matters uh, further into their own hands. Okay, good advice. Sure. And you mentioned just a minute ago that uh, leaving the window cracked isn't necessarily uh, yeah. um, something that's going to help a situation. It, it really doesn't. You know, we did some uh, little uh, in unscientific experiments a few years ago and we had uh, windows cracked uh, out in the sun versus vehicles without windows cracked rolled up all the way. The temperature inside is virtually the same. And uh, what it really is, is, it comes down to circulation of air. And there needs to be good circulation of air. Uh, there needs to be shade on the vehicle. And um, in most of the parking lots around here, we don't have either one of those. Okay. Now, sometimes in driving around town, you'll see a dog or dogs in the back of a pickup and it's hot outside. And yeah. what are the rules governing that? Yeah, that shouldn't be done either. Um, and a lot of people I know in, in southern New Mexico and other areas, they like to carry their dogs with them all the, all the time in the back of a vehicle, back of a uh, pickup truck. Uh, but the back of the trucks get very hot. And especially if they have those black liners, um, the spray on liners in the back, um, the temperature can exceed, uh, I mean, well over 100 degrees easy uh, out in the sun. And so we discourage people from doing that. And uh, not only that, but also even walking dogs in the heat of the day on the sidewalk or on the pavement. Um, it's not a good idea to do that either. Yeah, because it's hot and they it's feel it hot. on their back. You know, I, just a couple of days ago, I saw a dog walking and, and you could tell that dog is very disturbed and it was the owner was walking it uh, on the sidewalk. And then going back to the truck, one last point is it not only is it hot, but if they're the, the pet is tied yeah. and they st slam on the brakes or something else happens, that dog could get injured with the rope around. You know, the, the dog could also jump out and, you know, in traffic and be run over. There's so many bad things that can happen. So, yeah. you know, we discourage people from uh, carrying their pets in the back of a pickup. Well, Dan, all very good advice. Dan Trujillo, Public Information Officer with the Police and Fire Departments. Thank you for joining us Thank on you. ASTA. All right.